Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your drive mode, including snow mode, in the 2024 Nero EV. I have in front of me here a wave in snow white pearl. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, this has the 10 and a quarter inch digital instrument cluster. And what we're going to do is use our drive mode button here that's at the bottom part of the steering wheel off to the left. So right now, it doesn't say that we're in any specific driving mode. And that means we're in the most normal driving mode. So the car is not making any adjustments to the computer to help for needing extra power or just trying to help save on your, your energy usage because this is an EV. So if we were to go and press the drive mode button, you're gonna see we have an option between eco, normal, or sport. So I just went from normal to sport. I mean, you can see that the theme changed. That's a whole different subject within itself. But now it's gonna say we're in the sport mode. So when you go into sport, the vehicle's gonna actually give you a bit more power. So just like the, uh, the ice vehicles with the gasoline engine, it would inject more fuel, make the car shift later, just to try and get every ounce of power that the thing has. Well, this is the same idea in here. It's gonna adjust the computer so that you're gonna feel that instant torque even more than if, if you were in the, uh, the normal or the eco mode. So you're about to merge on the highway, overtake somebody, you want the full, full power this thing has, you go ahead, throw it into sport mode, and you are going to feel the difference. And it will also tighten the steering like the other vehicles too. So if I go and press it again, it's gonna go into the eco mode. Now this is gonna adjust itself to help conserve some of the energy um, and try to maximize your range without giving you uh, too much of the extra power. So you may notice that your, your get up and go may not be quite as much, even though you might find that it's still very sufficient, um, but it's just gonna try to maximize your range um, and limit the energy usage throughout the vehicle. Sorry, while I was editing, I noticed that I forgot to mention that right now we're in the normal mode and you can see your range in the bottom left here. Well, when I go to change into a different drive mode, so your sport, for example, you're gonna see that it changed the estimated range. So right now, 313 kilometers. If I were to go to eco, that would be 332 and normal would be at 323. So if we were to continue to drive in that drive mode, that's what the estimated range is gonna be as, uh, as you go on. And to continue. If I were to go and press and hold the drive mode button, it will switch it over to snow mode. So the car is going to now adjust the amount of torque. So right now, as you can clearly see, we are snow it's snowing outside, it's been snowing for a few days. So the snow mode would be for like wet or slippery conditions, just like in the other vehicles with the, uh, the terrain modes uh, in the SUVs with all wheel drive. So it's going to adjust the amount of torque just so that you're not overdoing it in the snow. And on the fly, you can hit this button to change it into whatever mode that you want. So it's personal preference based on what you're doing. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.